I've got about 20 of these that I'm gonna hang up around the neighborhood and maybe somebody will notice him from my picture and call me and return him. I put my phone number on it. There's a small reward. Oh, I guess I missed a number on my phone number. I don't think I know what it is. Uh, it's 4 p.m. now, and I'm ready to take my nap. I can't take my nap without my dogs. Where is Penny and those dogs? Where? Why hasn't she brought those dogs back to Daniel's yet? Unbelievable. Isn't that a problem with the new girl? I don't know that it's a problem yet. It sounds like a problem for a new girl that's going to be really helpful and reliable. We need more That's help. her very first walk and she's already screwed up. We don't know that she screwed up. We don't know that she did well. Well, thanks for your thoughts on that. Thank you for your thoughts on We're life. here. That was fun. That was super fun. Listen, I've, yeah. I've really had a lovely day. Thank you very much. Great. It's been a real pleasure. Mm -hmm. 9 a.m. tomorrow. Rita's expecting you. No, no, no. That's not cool. I don't want to. I don't want to walk those people's dogs. Well, then why did you come on the consult? You're their walker. Because you made me. And then we met them and they were crazy. They're eccentric, okay? You gotta be a little bit more accepting. Who are you to judge? That lady's crazy. She doesn't even like me. That lady doesn't like me. 9 a.m. No. How's that sound? I'm not doing it. I can't do it. Why not? I have a it's business to run. Yeah, so run it. Just run it. They're expecting you. I'm in a great mood. Uh, I had a meeting last week, actually, with a very big talent agency, and uh, it went really, really well. And while I was just rolling around on a floor with a bunch of dogs and Glenn and Rita, um, they left me a voicemail. Hey, Tim. It's Alice from KSB Talent. So I thought our meeting went really well. I think you're so funny, and the other agents think you're funny and talented. But we have a couple clients that are your type already, so unfortunately everybody wasn't on board with signing you. I'm sorry. But here's some good news. I remember you told me that you walk dogs part-time, and I just got a puppy, and I'm looking for a dog walker three times a week, so give me a call back, and maybe we can figure that out. Thanks, Kim. Bye-bye. That's fun. Oh! Come here, buddy. Hey there, little pup. You lost? Oh, it's all right. You're with Uncle Ross now. Oh, you're a cute little bitch, aren't you? All right, you want to come with me, huh? Oh, you got a weird-looking vagina. Good boy, Waffles. Way to do your business. Oh, what? my God! What a cute little dog that is. Yeah, he's a cutie. Oh, Matt is so adorable. He bends down to pick up the feces, right? Yeah. Mm hmm? You know what? Most people, they just let it lie there. And then someone comes along, and they step in it. Is that Ross? What? You're a good girl, aren't you? I don't know your name, but you're cute. Ross? Oh, hey, Heather. How's it going? Is that Betty? Oh, I don't know. She doesn't have any tags on. She's cute, though, huh? Oh my god, this is Daniel's dog. I guess that's why she hasn't brought her home yet, because she lost her. Oh my god, Penny! Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, it's my job, though. I'm a dog walker, so I gotta pick it up. So, uh, you're a dog walker? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. How noble. He has a big heart. He cares for the animals, then. Yeah, I have a big heart, but, you know, it's not always easy. You know, sometimes I get four dogs at one time, it gets a little crazy. Four? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Where's you out, you know? Wow, I mean, that must take tremendous upper body strength. <laughs> yeah, it's a workout. I mean, it's definitely a workout. I'm not going to lie to you. It wears me out sometimes, you know? Yeah. I bet you could use a break, huh? Listen, I got some uh, crystal light inside. Well, it's generic, but I, I swear it tastes better than the real thing. It's got ice cubes in it. Uh, no, gotta... no, no, I better not. I got, I got other dogs I got I to gotta take care of. And it's... it's not sweet enough? I can sweeten it for you. No, I like lemonade. Oh, yeah. Just a bit. Have a sip of my lemonade. 
I don't know. Uh, I don't think so. It's not a good idea because the dogs, they get upset if I'm not with them for very long. <laughs> I've got work to do. I've got ice cubes. It's about the work and I have to go. I, I love the dogs. You have really nice teeth. What's your name? I gotta go. Come on, Waffle. Let's get out of here. So tense. I don't know what just happened. I mean, I just... I don't know what he... I'm, I'm sure he lives around here someplace. Just, I don't know. It just, just made me really uncomfortable. That's all. I'm just, you know... Oh, Christ. This is unbelievable. I have no control over my own business. My employees are crazy. They don't listen to me. They're not respecting me. I just met with some new clients. I don't even want to walk their dogs. They're crazy. I'll walk them. It's like they're, they're, they're babies. They're, like, they're fur babies. They aren't babies, okay? These are dogs. They are not children. It is not that big of a deal. I, I can't do this. I have, I have no idea how to run this business. This is unacceptable. I'm done. I quit. Quit? Heather, you can't quit. That's fiddle-faddle. That's just plain, silly fiddle-faddle talk. Can't give up. Dogs love you. And you're good at this job, Heather. Really? You're a young company. You learn as you go. Dog walking is for the birds, okay? And I'm a cockatoo. Ooh! Okay? So, not everything is treats and chuckets the first year. You gotta deal with the thermometer up the asshole the first year. What? The thermometer up the asshole. It's a metaphor, or a haiku, or one of the things that we learned in English class. Anyway, the point is, thermometer up the asshole is like the first year of running your own dog business, okay? It stinks, it's uncomfortable, you can't get a real temperature or a gauge on how your company is doing, you can't manage your employees or your clients. It sucks. But you leave it up there because you're tough. And then, your second year, you're not a puppy anymore. That's right, you're a big girl. You know how to manage your business. You know how to manage your clients and your employees. You know every goddamn dog's name. You know when they poop. You know when they pee. You know where they hide. And you know what treats to give them and at what times. So, it works out in the end, okay? You just gotta trust me on this. It's gonna be great. I get it, I get it, yeah. All right. Thanks for the advice, I think. Hey, why don't I cheer you up and I'll buy you a beer. Oh, I shouldn't drink during the day. It never goes well. Well, yeah, that's a good idea, probably. I have three hikes and a walk. <laughs> How about a root beer? Okay. All right, great. I know a place up the street. A little soda pop 1950s place. It'll be fun. So I went to the pet store to look for another brown dog. I was going to do that thing like they do in the movies, like when they switch one dog out for another one. But the guy that worked there, he said that that would not be a good idea. So I got him goldfish. I'm hoping he doesn't notice. Well, hello! Hold on, I heard barking. I think it might be my dog. Hold on, I gotta go. I'll, I'll call you back. Christy! What? I heard barking. What? what the hell is this? What is this? I don't know. Some girl left it here. She left it Girl left? What? Is Fish? Dear Daniel, Sadie had a good walk. I think I lost Betty, though. Got you these fish to replace her. I hope you weren't mad. What the hell? Are you serious? She lost my second blanket? Oh, do you need a blanket? Shut up. Get over here. Yeah, Betty! Betty! Did you see her on the property anywhere? No. Which wax do you want me to use? What? Wax. Which one? I'd like to wax you. Okay. On and off. Um. A little, uh... Little Karate Kid action, young Ralph Macchio. I like Ralph Macchio. Not as much as Jonathan Silverman, though. You know what? Jennifer Love Hewitt is my favorite. Ghost Whisperer is my favorite show. I decided. What? What? You read it. It's what? What the hell is this about? What are you doing? You got a problem? This is my fortress. Okay, no. You want some of this? Ah! You put that away. That? You want some of my Jonathan Silverman? <laughs> That's right. Go. Get out of here with your Anne Hess wife, your Ellen DeGeneres ass. Like Maury Pope. I named my penis Jonathan Silverman. If there's one thing I've learned, there's no business like dog business. Dog walking is a hard job. It's really not for everyone. Sometimes I think I'm really lucky to have this job, and other times I, I don't. You know, I don't feel like this is what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't feel like this is my calling. 
but I do appreciate all the people who are dedicated to it. And I'm one of them. This is my job. It's a lot of dogs. Oh boy.